used to find the variation or volatility in the share prices that is of a share of a company and the share price in the market so how much the share price is deviated from the market price that is what the calculation of beta all about in this problem we have beta of return on stock a and market return for 15 periods are given 15 periods are given below what is the beta for stock a so they have given the values of a returns and market returns is also given so market return index is given return on stock a is given so this is the problem given in this how to identify x and y the question comes there so i given a note here for you please have a look this is the most important one so x is nothing but market index or we call it as market return another name for that is called rm return of market y is nothing but stock or share return another one is called as another name for y is called ri return on that particular share so m represents uh, market i represents particular share so i have taken here the return on uh, stock a stock a is y and market index is x so you have to identify which is x which is y this is the most important one if you identify wrongly your answer is going to be wrong so identifying x and y is the most important thing before you start working the problem for that only you have given the note so let me go for the working the working i am doing calculation of beta under direct method i am doing the easiest method to work we can work indirect method also like the previous one we have done where deviation from x deviation from y that also can be done but formula will be simple there but here formula is little bit bigger the working becomes easier when number of items are more there so market index is x stock return is y so let me go for total n is equal to 15 total number of items i'll go for total of y total of x so x column total and y column total minus values are there you have to remember you have to add all the plus and then minus the two values there in so y value is 150 total of y series total of uh, x series is 135 now after finding the total of two columns then we have to go for x square and then x into y so x square is this remember x is this we have to square 12 into 12 14 into 14 13 into 13 10 into 10 like that we have to work there so 12 into 12 144 14 14 196 13 16 9 10 10 100 9 9 81 like that so let me go for uh, the values the minus values are there minus into minus becomes plus then we have to go for the total of x square also minus into minus that is minus 11 into minus 11 121 so it will be like that all are in the plus values you have to add the x square column 1839 is the total of the x square column next is x into y you can see here so x column is this y column is this we have to multiply 12 into 10 14 into 15 13 into 18 like that we have to multiply so when i multiply i am getting here the values 120 210 234 